Hello and welcome and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so in this video, I'm gonna do an unboxing. So recently, I visited Sky Blue Stationery Mart and brought a few stationery for my YouTube channel and to draw in general. So I'm gonna show you all those things. Okay, so the first thing that I got uh, was this A4 size uh, canvas. Um, they are of uh, 10 inches uh, by 12 inches. Uh, which is 24.4 cm by 34.8 cm approximately and they cost me around uh, 120 rupees each uh, so when you are buying these kinds of canvases uh, the main thing that you want to see is that if these canvases are pre-primed I mean, basically means that there is a coat of gesso which is already applied so you don't have to do it on your own ok so the next thing that I bought was these mini canvases uh, they are by 4 inch uh, by 4 inch and they are from Faber Castell and uh, they are stretched canvases and uh, the main thing about them is that they are also pre-primed and they are 100% cotton and they are uh, compatible with oil paints and acrylic paints uh, so I got uh, three of these uh, but they were less expensive as like the big sized canvas uh, so like one of these is around 130 rupees so I kind of didn't know it at the shop but then I realized it after I came back home and I don't regret buying these but they were cute and I do have few ideas uh, which I want to draw on them so it all turned out for the well. So the next thing that I got were these mini canvases in the circular shape. And they are acid free which is basically shown in the like claims. Uh, so basically what is done is it will prevent the yellowing of the canvas. And if you want, but it will still yellow so if like it depends on the color you use also. So if you want to prevent that you might want to apply a coat of varnish on it. Okay, so these canvases are approximately uh, size of like 4 inch, uh, so their radius is 4 inch I think and they are like the same with the uh, circle and square so I do have some things that I want to draw on them and stay tuned so you can see what I can draw. Okay, so total I have bought uh, 3 and 3 and 2 of these uh, canvases, uh, total would be 6 plus 2, 8, uh, so yeah. So moving on to the next thing, uh, the next thing that I got uh, was this uh, gesso and varnish. Uh, so varnish is from RTM and uh, it's basically like a spray varnish. Uh, so the, basically you would uh, keep it at a distance of around like 10 to 15 centimeter and you would spray it on the canvas. And I have got the gloss version of it and there is matte version also available. So the next thing that I got was uh, this gesso. It cost me around 140 rupees and it's uh, from Camel and it's like 120 milliliter uh, so the basic function of gesso is that it will help like the acrylic paint or watercolor whichever you are using to bind to the surface so in case you didn't see like my leaf painting video at the end uh, the paint actually peeled off so gesso will help to prevent that and if i had applied like a layer of uh, gesso before it uh, then it would have not um, you know peeled off right away so that's the basic function of gesso. Uh, so moving on to the next thing were these acrylic colors uh, which I got from Faber Castle. Uh, so they are 400 uh, rupees uh, for a pack of 4 which uh, basically translates as 100 rupees per tube. And each uh, tube is around 80 milliliters I guess. Wait a minute I have to see. Uh, so yeah each tube is around 40 milliliter, uh, 40 milliliter of product and it is basically in 4 colors. Glitter gold, silver sparkle, copper cabana and spicy bronze. Our products are basically turning into makeup products now. They have really complicated names. What the fuck is copper cabana? Uh, so these are from Faber Castle and here I am going to show you the swatches. On a side note, I do need to wash this palette but I don't really want to make this like paints go to waste. So these are watercolors, so they might be reactivated when you just add water. But if you are doing this with acrylic colors, uh, then they just won't be reactivated and you have to throw them away. Uh, so the first shade is called Silver Sparkle. And uh, yeah, so this is me just pouring it into a plate. So is this aesthetic enough for you or do I need to do more? So yeah, moving on. Uh, next we'll move on to the another color which is yeah, so the next color is uh, spicy bronze I don't know what's spicy about it should I taste it no I'll never I'll never do that for clout 
so yeah this is just me struggling to open the bottle tube sorry it's a tube i know that duh i'm just gonna delete the next footage the silence too long and awkward so yeah this is the shade uh, spicy brown is this shade spicy for you does it make you feel horny oh yeah yeah it got it itself it definitely suffers from pre ejaculation <laughs> lamia yeah. moving on so yeah i just put it all back in because i didn't really want to waste the paint so here is just a 10 second clip of me saving all my money which i already spent join me every sunday to how know how to save the money already spent so i just gathered this on a plate because i do plan on doing swatches next so the next shade is a uh, copper cabana what the hell does cabana mean so moving on with copper cabana so basically i just got these paints because they were pretty and i have no idea how to use these so i went on like faber castell's original website uh, to see what to do with these paints and i have seen this uh, video where they would use uh, gesso to create a texture on the canvas and they would just uh, dab this paint with the help of like a cotton or a sponge and it would create like a 3d art so that's what i want to do someday these might also be useful if you want to do jewelry or something because if you want to just uh, draw it with the help of like a yellow black and brown paint then it just seems like very very flat uh, so these greater colors can also be used if you want to draw like jewelry or something so these are the two or three ideas that i have in mind for using these paints so if you have any other ideas do let me know down in the comment sections below so moving on to the swatches uh, the first one is a uh, spicy brown uh, the one thing that i like about these uh, paints is uh, that they go on in thick layers and uh, you can see the brush strokes which makes the art more vibrant uh, the next shade is a uh, silver sparkle so as i was saying you that um, this just makes the brush strokes look uh, very real as compared to normal watercolors and that's why i like acrylic paints my other choice of uh, using acrylic colors also includes the uh, painting like the base color for my drawing uh, so the main reason for using acrylic colors uh, for base colors is uh, that if you would use uh, watercolors and you made a mistake uh, then it you would not be able to erase it with ease whereas if you are using watercolors on top of acrylic colors then they could be easily removed and it would not create a mess and the paint beneath would also not lift up and if you are going to be planning on using um, like i don't know oil colors uh, then they would take like forever to dry you would have to give them at least a week and that would just be too much for my adhd brain i cannot wait that long i do not have enough sustained attention so moving on this uh, color was copper cabana and yeah so i just don't uh, get up to wash the paint i didn't get like a bowl of water because the wash basin was like too near to me so i would just wash it in the wash basin whenever i needed to so i just you know like it's a flat brush so i would just turn it the other way around and use the second color that i wanted to so yeah that's just me being lazy thank you very much for bearing with me so now i just wanted to you know um, check the solubility of the paint or how uh, well they would uh, spread uh, so what i'll do is i'll just you know dissolve it in some bottle and see how this spreads Uh, so this is basically useful uh, very much if you want to draw like the base of the painting uh, so you might you know not want to waste that much of a paint uh, and it would basically be much easier if you will just you know dissolve some in water rather than pay laying a very thick stroke of uh, direct paint from the tube because then you would run out of tube very easily because let's say if you are going to paint like an A4 canvas then you won't be able to do like more than like three or four canvas at maximum but if you just dissolve it in water then the less less of your paint would be wasted and since you just want it for a base uh, you will be able to see through it and it will be much better and if you just want a like much op like a better opaque version uh, then you might just let it dry for a day and then you might uh, you know just paint again on it so yeah i didn't mess up a bit uh, i was supposed to paint silver below and i was supposed to paint like the bronze color above 
बट यस इट डजेंट रियली मैटर बिकॉज आई जस्ट एम स्टूपेड सो दिस इज द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग